G'day, big hello from Australia. Hi, I'm Charlie, this is Matthew. I'm an intern, Matthew is a senior resident. Today we're putting our first video in a long series under Team IMG. Matthew, tell them what TIMG is all about. All right, what we're doing, we, we've decided to help overseas health professionals who really come and work in Australia. Mm. So, that obviously, on arrival, you're not able to work straight away. You need to have some... Really? You can't walk straight away? You can't come from another country? <laughs> Now, even even if you come from like Canada, like Commonwealth countries, even from England, no, you have to go through some paperwork. Today, uh, we decided to focus on the necessary requirements. APRA, which is I mean Australian Medical Australian, it stands for Australian Health Practitioner Agency. Ask uh, overseas health professional to provide in order to be able to work in Australia. So. For today's episode, the most important thing is how do you get yourself validated? Now, I want you to picture, put yourself in the shoes of the person who is looking at your paperwork. They are a thousand kilometers away from you, if not tens of thousands of kilometers away from you. How do they know that you are actually a legitimate medical professional. Considering that not every country, not every place will have the same technology, the same certification processes, even use the same language. So let's just take a more of a logical approach. When the, the process I've been through, yeah. I first you need to start with Australian Medical Council. Yes. You like your primary documentation, for example, you let them know you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you got this degree from like a country, so they introduce your company mm -hmm. and uh, to definitely know the name, yes. and they ask you mm -hmm. to bring them a certificate called EICS number. I don't know, the certificate would cost you a fortune, a couple of thousand dollars, but by having that certificate, it means your degree is recognized in Australia, not even in Australia, worldwide recognizable. That's the important thing. It's like a database. If I put your EICS number and you came from uh, Cameroon, it would tell me the, univer the medical university you went to and, and uh, how legitimate your degree was how long you did your degree for, mm -hmm. uh, even what other qualifications you may be associated with, and also, it can also tell someone what campuses you worked at as well. Exactly. In the meantime, you're waiting for your EICS number mm -hmm. to come through. You can apply for uh, other requirements, including a medical test called AMC CATS MCQ and your mm -hmm. English test. Hi guys, this is Matthew here. I've got. Yep, go for it. And I'm Charlie. 